you are an immigrant, okay? Illegal. If there is a God, God is either not all powerful or not all good. So in my head I'm thinking these these couple things that's happened, them happening hasn't made me stronger or better in any way. They've done the, the opposite. Okay, Jamie, your question I want to do a different one. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready to convert here and now? You know, uh people there's two types of people who I feel really sorry for. Mm-hmm. One is people who think I have nothing in life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the other is I have everything in life. Those two people I feel really sorry for because th- both of them are given the biggest mental task is what do I do now? Hello. Welcome back to Lads Talk. Thank you for joining us 303 of you. And if you're new here, make sure you press the subscribe button so you can be more than the 303 that already exist. Anyway, awkward introduction over. Today we're going to talk about religion. Uh because recently we've obviously seen in the news whatever's going on that there's a lot uh happening and religion is uh definitely a big and a major part of it. So we've got myself, I'm a Muslim. Uh we've got Jamie, he is a what would you identify yourself as? Attack helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, what would you identify yourself as in in terms of religion? Christian, but I've lost my faith at the moment. He lost faith, yeah. He's no, a, for all the Muslims, he's a Christian murtad. <laughs> uh, and Garis, Christian. So we got Muslim, uh, Christian, but not at the moment, <laughs> part time. And uh, uh, we got uh, Christian and. <laughs> <laughs> and Daniel Daniel is muslim yeah um so religion is really important uh, especially in this day and age uh, religion is uh, slowly fading in some communities in terms of the west so england um in the uk and stuff like that they did a census is it called census where they they take a survey of the whole country and uh, they check like who's how many uh, who who is of which gender who is of which religion etc ethnicity they do that they do that they they collect it here um, every couple of years or every year I, I can't remember anywho is this like only england or uk the well the one that i'm talking about is from uk all right yeah so uh, my point being they collected it last year i believe and they said last year that um what did they say they the atheism or atheist there's like there's just a lot but pretty much yeah i can't give you the figures i should have looked at it before I think Christianity or atheism in the UK is is top and then you got um I think it was Islam next and then you've got Hinduism and whatnot but there's like a whole list and it it goes down but atheism meaning non-belief you not believing in any religion is on the rise in the UK yeah <clears throat> and in general in western countries which we'll talk about uh, in a little bit but yeah it's it's a interesting topic because obviously we've got a lot of uh, different stuff flying around uh, i i did mention daniel is a muslim but i don't know if we were laughing or something so daniel me we're muslim christian christian or pseudo atheism um so it's an interesting div- uh, 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 interesting topic to have and it's an interesting thing to talk about so uh, where do we go first okay i think a uh, man of camera the unseen one um if you no not that i think if you i just want to ask you a quick question okay quick question because you are off camera yes then you're talking to you he's doing this yeah all right <laughs> because because you're off camera i want to ask you a quick question okay you are a immigrant okay illegal uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. No. Yeah, Daniel has moved ag- across countries. If you listen to this podcast long enough, you know he's I don't know what he is, my international uh, French, Pakistani, uh, international criminal, bro. Criminal. He's he's on the he's on the lam. <laughs> he's running away. Uh, so so Daniel, basically what I'm saying is <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my my do you say gangster lallu? Uh, okay. My my question is, yeah. Obviously you've been in at least 3 countries if I'm right yeah? yeah this is your fourth which um depending on the countries which religions did you find in each country that you've been in um France is like mainly islamic huh yeah France yeah France yeah is islamic mm also they oh you mean like people there's mostly muslims mm. where were you in France Paris like see central I didn't I didn't imagine that because most of them are from um Africa and I think Nigeria and them places 
mm-hmm. and yeah, that's why most of them are Muslim. Oh, that's sick. And then you, when you go in the outer, um, like you know, far away from the city, then there's like, you know, Christians and racism. And what about um, Italy? Huh? Italy. Christians mainly, yeah. and proper Christians. That makes sense. We got is the Pope, hmm? Pope yeah, yeah. from Italy, isn't mm. it? Okay, and uh, what about Pakistan? Like Buddhism? Or <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, Barelbi. <laughs> Barel- <laughs> Barelbi, yeah, that's a different religion. No, but it's a Muslim, isn't it, in Pakistan, yeah. Islam. Um, okay, and what about UK? I think, if you talk, depends, like, which way we look at it. If you're talking about practicing religion, mm. I think only Islam, mainly here, yeah. practicing. That yeah, I see what you mean there. Yeah. You know, like so-called Muslim or so-called Christian. If you take it in that aspect, I feel like mainly it's Muslim people here. Yeah, yeah. Like, I get you. only Muslim people, not all of them, but most of them take their religion seriously. You could be Christian, but you know. Yeah, but do you know what it is that? Hmm, I had friends and even people I work with there from up north. And I feel like up north people, the Christians up north, they, they do the Christian. I mean, they follow Christianity more closely. I don't know because obviously you can't judge by three people or five people that I know. That's it, you know. But um, I, I think like people like up north, yeah, they hold to the values more than down there. South because yeah. they're closer to the city, innit? Yeah, London and that. Even but, like like when they see new people, for example, like brown people, like. You know, but they're much nicer. They they're less nicer to them. Ah, huh? they are. Yeah. My basically, my student recently he went to, um, not Lake District, Mountain District, Peak District, Peak mm. Peak District, yeah. And there's like mountains and you climb it and stuff. And there was there there were um non Asian, I mean white people uh, predominantly. And he said they were like really nice and stuff. And you know they were really accommodating and stuff like that. When so. um Manchester, what like three years ago. Uh, Manchester. So you went to. It uh, was fully white. <laughs> Felt so out of place. In, in Manchester. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Fair enough. So all right. So that's your analysis of those countries. No, but if you, if you look like um, the um UK TV shows where like they do, what what do you call them? You know them school ones where like they go to a different place and they live there. Exchange student. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. they go from like let's say Bradford and they go up somewhere, I don't know, north. And then there's so many racist um or like uneducated people that don't know about like, you know, religion, mm. Islam. They only know about their people yeah. and their food. And when they bring like Asian food or like something they haven't seen, mm. they're like so not even intrigued, like they were trying to like not even be open to it. So it's not only sense. religion; it's cult- it's cultural things as well. Would you say? Yeah, therefore, do you guys not reckon? No, I I don't, I don't know about this. No, you, if you look at like ITV shows and stuff, from what I've seen, yeah, there was one yeah, she was so racist on camera without even like I I don't think she meant it, but it's like the way she came across it was so racist. Go on. What did you see on? ITV? It was something about. <laughs> I think you definitely guys saw it. It was something about halal salad. Do you remember? Oh, you sent it to me. Yeah, it was time ago. Like it was exchange um, thingy, schools or whatever you call it. And this woman, she was meant to like prepare some halal food. And she goes to the supermarket. She's like, excuse me, where can I find halal salad? Like, <laughs> I'm like Rah. and she said other stuff. But I don't remember no more. It was like a few years back. Mm. But that's how I feel like. Fair enough. Jamie, okay. I'm I'll on... show you after though. Unless All right, I can that's find fine. It now. If okay. you can find it now, you can find it now. <laughs> I'd love to see that. If you can find it, I don't mind. Yeah, find while we're while we're talking, um, all right, Jamie, what about you? So as you said you're a Christian. You were you born Christian or you converted to Christianity? How did it work? No, I was baptized when I was a baby. And what does that mean for people who don't know? What well, baptizing is? Uh, right. So when you're a baby, you go to church and you have the the priest or whoever. He'll be there. He do his prayers. His blah 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 blah, and. And he'll pour this holy water mm-hmm. and christen the baby. So you do a little prayer and you know, a little cup or a little bowl and you just pour the water on the baby's forehead. It's fine. So it doesn't knock. Then you do a barbs? 
Hmm? Do they put them in? I know with me, you hold them over this like a big cylinder bowl. It's, it's different. And you just pour it, it, it over it the depends head. Depends what church you, you go to, where you're from. In sometimes as well. It's different for every church, but something it's like there's different weights yeah. in it. It really depends on the I priest. I've seen someone they actually dunk the baby. They like dunk them in that, quickly. That's, that's I've mad. seen that. I've never seen that. I've seen that. Yeah, they they chuck a whole <laughs> they chuck a whole baby inside, yeah, and they re- repeatedly um yeah. thing in it. I mean, it was part, it's part of their religion, so it's like. Shall I bring it up? You know the Jewish one that we saw the other day, how like <coughs> they suck on <coughs> the baby. Oh, oh well, I didn't see it. Yeah, that's like thingy for them, pretty much, isn't it? Where they suck. <laughs> oh, but wait, I know you do. I, I don't didn't see it. You it. mentioned it. You texted it or something. I, I don't see it. That's like the same thing as Christians, but they. Do you dab? <laughs> baptize. That's like baptize for them. They like for Jewish the blood out of. Oh yeah, Jesus. I showed him. I showed him. I remember now. Yeah, I showed Jamie. I'm and worried. What did you show him? <laughs> no, nah, real talk. I was so I was like, raw bro. That is not normal. Oh my god. Okay. Anywho, so that is how is it even allowed? Like, where did they get it from? No, but do you know? Do you know the thing about that is yeah. I'm not saying that that's to me it's normal because to me that's not normal to me yeah. But every religion has their own uh, things that you do in in your religion, right? So the baptizing thing in Judaism, you said there's that thing yeah. Uh, I don't think I want to explain the whole situation. I think I, I remember what you're talking about now, but I don't want to explain the whole thing because it's a bit crazy to explain. Um, um, in Islam, obviously, what, what I uh, or what we do. Uh, it seems normal to me because we've don't, done it all our life, you know what I mean? Um, do you what? Like, you know, you say, I, I'm saying every religion has its own yeah. uh, traditions that you do. That's, that's the delivery thing. That's the delivery oh, wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 let's wait, and when we come back, let's carry on. He's going to be upstairs. This, this is lads took delivery happening. He is, yeah, just pick up the thing and press the button. This is lads took delivery. So, whilst we're doing an episode, we have a delivery here. It's very special. It's got nothing to do with you. It's still very, it's still very special, okay? <laughs> Two seconds later, and we're back. Uh, so, what were we saying last uh, about? So, different religions have different tradi- traditions, yeah, that they follow. Uh, so, my tradition or Islam, uh, Islamic traditions will be normal to me. Um, can you just like tell people what they are? So. Yeah, we can list some. Yeah, so, tr- Islamic traditions. Um, <coughs> what's the tradition we do in Islam? In the the uh, what well, Akika. No, the hair when you like shave the hair when you like you newborn. Place. Yeah, newborn. Yeah, a key kind of. This you shave the hair and you yeah. donate the money to yeah, charity yeah. so for when a baby is born you you shave their hair and you you measure the hair and then you give equivalent in gold in, in money. That's what you measure the hair. You weigh it. Oh, you weigh it. You weigh the hair and then afterwards you you donate uh, according to the weight you donate a certain portion of money to charity or yeah. If I from if I think correctly, I don't remember about the weight. That's how it is. Okay, if I'm wrong, no, what I remember in the is comments, like that would be um, very good. <coughs> yeah, I don't think that's a thing, you know. You don't weigh it. No, I don't know. You just give a key card. I think it's two gods if it's a boy and one one if it's a girl. Something so, like that. Search this one. But I don't remember. Batteries. Never heard of that. Really search, search that. Search that, please. Yeah, we need to do verification here right now. I swear you weigh it. I've never had a baby, so I don't know. But uh, but no, I don't that's what. This. Oh, I, I know. I know you give a key card. A Q I K A I Q A. Is one? F- how much is it? Two goes for a boy and one for a girl. A K. Go on. A Q I Q A. A Q I Q A. Meanwhile. <laughs> I can do a transition here. <laughs> Ten hours later, you know. So, Aku- is it Akika? Akika, Akika. Akika. Akika is an Islamic Akika. ritual performed upon the birth of a child. The ceremony expresses thank- thankfulness to Allah for blessing the family with offspring. In addition, the Akika, I- I- I can't even Akika. Say. Akika celebration is a sunnah where the meat from the s- sacrificed animal is shared with the family, friends, and de- de- deprived members of the community. Yeah. Poor people. <coughs> oh, <right>. What? <laughs> <Deprived> <laughs> it's poor people, Deprived? isn't it? What does that mean? Yeah, that's what I said. A kika for a boy involves two sacrifices. Wait, say again. So. A kika for mm-hmm. a boy, mm-hmm. uh, you need to sacrifice two sheep or goats, and then for a girl, it's just one. 
So we don't even know our own traditions. Shaving the hair for Akika and giving gold and silver? Yeah. Yeah. And then goats is the same thing. That's Akika as well? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you can either donate money or you can sacrifice animal. Yeah. Oh, so uh, there's uh, two so different... Okay, types. so we're back now. We've, All right. we've, we've oh, understood what happened. So, so the thing that we should have clarified. So when you measure the hair... Depending on how uh, heavy the hair is, um, you you can either donate money or what Danyali is saying, the, the proper way is you donate, according to the weight of the hair, you donate that size animal by sacrificing and feeding no, no, it no, to no, people. No, 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 no. That is... Not animal, bro. You said, yeah, so you measure, the, you weight the <coughs> hair, mm-hmm. depending on that, you give silver or gold, or if you don't want to do that, yeah. apparently, that's what you said. Yeah. But, um, if you... You can give two goats if you have a boy, mm-hmm. and you can give one goat if you have a daughter. And that's it. Listen, okay, I don't know what's going on here. All right, usually I know my facts. Okay, what are you going to do for us? Right now in the comments, if you know what's going on, can you put it in the comments? Okay, we need to understand properly. Google is not helping us. I've never had a child. Okay, Daniel, you got children? He's doing some Pakistani uncle vibes right now, okay? So you need to write in the comments what's going on because none of us know what's happening here, okay? Moving on, all right? So we have, that's one tradition, okay, a key cup. Another tradition is, uh, why can't I think of traditions? What's wrong with me? The thing is circumcision. Circumcision, okay, that's another tradition. Yeah, yeah. circumcision is another tradition, but it's not really a tradition. It's it's compulsory, and every Every male... Uh, in Islam, has to have uh, as, as sh- every male in Islam has to have circumcision done. Um, you know, and also it has like health benefits as well. It's, it keeps you uh, away from germs and and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? It That's keeps true. bacteria away. Yeah. Okay, moving on from traditions. Um, <clears throat> what I was gonna say is okay. So we talked about religion in in general. Okay. So now my question is of today. Okay. This is the reason why I wanted to talk about this. Um, is having a religion better than not having a religion at all? Okay, because you have this debate now. Oh, look at uh, Palestine and Israel. Uh, look at them fighting because of, um, you know, because of their religion and stuff like that. Even the last time we discussed, it's nothing to do with religion. It's to do with race, isn't it? Ethnicity is, is about because uh, uh, people. Okay. I've seen online. Sorry, Tinder. I've seen online. Yeah, it's it's also it's also to do with um, is it oil or something? Yeah, oil. There's, there's, there's a lot. There's money. There's land. There's ethnicity, race. <clears throat> there's a lot more to do with that. It's not just religion. Plus, there's pl- Palestinian Christians, Jews, and uh, Muslims. There's Israeli uh, Jews mixed. and there's cr- Israeli Christians. Mixed. Yeah, it's yeah. All mixed. Uh, there's Israeli Christians as well. So that's why it doesn't make sense. No, it's but, not about but religion. Also, I, I think it's the media as well. You guys can agree. They picture it as the whole war thing and Palestine and Israel is painted towards it's an Islamic like war type of thing and, and it's funny you mentioned uh, media yeah look look at shows like rick and morty simpsons family guy those you know when you when i say the cartoon you automatically have a genre in it south park you you know what cartoons are going to come up in it all those cartoons how do they depict jesus or how do they depict god have you seen how they how they show it there's like some bearded old man wearing a long robe and stuff and they like punch him and they do mm-hmm. they do crazy stuff to him and it's like so disrespectful disrespectful and it's like religion uh, is made to look silly in cartoons and stuff in in the media that's another thing yeah so um speaking of media okay we got a video that i want to show you because this is one of the main uh, arguments used uh, uh, to tell people not to follow any religion okay and i just want to talk about this video do you want i'm the, the more I look at the universe, um, just the less convinced I am that there is something benevolent going on. So if, you, if, if your concept of a creator is someone who's all-powerful and all-good, that's not an uncommon pairing of powers that you might describe to a creator. All-powerful and all-good. And I look at disasters that afflict Earth and life on Earth. Volcanoes, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, disease, pestilence, um, congenital birth defects. You look at this list of ways that life is made miserable on Earth by natural causes. And I just ask, how do you deal with that? So philosophers rose up and said, if there is a God, 
God is either not all powerful or not all good. All right, before I say anything, uh, I'll start with Garris here. Garris, what, what do you think about what we just saw? What do you think? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's a sound effect. No, okay, let's say, let me frame it like this. Do you, do you agree with him? No, I don't. Okay, why is that then? Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't agree with him, but I don't know what to say. Okay, so I'll come back to you. Yeah, come back. All right, Jamie, do you have anything? Because you, you said you left your faith, right? You don't you don't have a faith right now, so... Yeah, it was similar stuff to, to what he was saying, stuff about all bad things that happen in here and there. My own reasons of my own personal reasons. That's like, made me question and believe, or well, why, is, why is these things happening, or why is he letting stuff happen? Um, in my own personal life, specifically, that is... Uh, made my life a bit more worse and not as good as it could have been. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's like he could have. He, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, no, that that's fair. Fair point. As in, you agree mostly or or, or <laughs> fully with with uh, what uh, Neil? J- just to let you know, yeah, this uh, Neil Gr- Neil deGrasse on deGrasse Tyson, he's a famous scientist, okay, and he's really like respected by people because he's really uh, knowledgeable or educated or or wise or high as, uh, high IQ, whatever. Okay, so that's his point. Okay, and I take Jamie's point on board, and Gareth will come back to you. Daniel, do you have any opinions on what he said? Um, I mean, I don't agree with him, but the main thing is when it comes to religion, the basic foundation is that earth is meant to be like a dust and whatever happens, like bad happens to you, you're meant to trust God that, okay, I'm doing the right thing. Even if I get done over, I know I'm right. And sooner or later, I'll see the fruit of it. Maybe not in this world, but in the hereafter. And that's what I think. (coughs) Gareth? Yeah, so um, like the generic po- uh, generic point, like this is not bringing religion into this. Is if that was the case, you know what he was saying? Why doesn't God make it all easy and stuff? Mm. Like, what's the point of life? Is my question. Like, it's not meant to be easy. It's not meant to be a straight road. You're meant to go through struggles and stuff, and and you learn. Without that, you're not gonna learn. And there's no, uh, you don't have a purpose in life. Uh, you, yeah, that's it. You don't have a purpose in life. And now you're bringing religion, and obviously from whatever religion you are you can bring in many points and then you will understand why and why you disagree with the video yeah i think there's two points to pick apart here okay so one point that he said and jamie agrees with that some more things um stuff in my personal life you know that you can say sometimes things are oh yeah some things bad are a benefit to you and they help you and they make your life either it can be better or it will lead you to a, a road that can make you better in whatever way. With some things in my personal life, I believe if those bad things didn't happen, it actually would have been better if they didn't happen. And these bad things happening to me hasn't made anything better. It's done the opposite. It's made things worse. So in my head, I'm thinking these these couple things that's happened, them happening hasn't made me stronger or better in any way. They've done the, the opposite. So that's my thought process of it at the moment. I think that's that's a that's a good point. That I think I think most people who don't have faith would agree with that point because you the there's two like I said there's two things to unpack. Okay, the ones that we kind of already mentioned that for religious people who believe in religion, uh, monotheistic mm. religion like Islam, Christianity, Judaism, there's one key thing that we all believe in, which is day after. Um, uh, life after death sorry yeah there's a second life after this life hinduism buddhism buddhism they believe in reincarnation that this world is where we just keep repeating stuff okay uh i don't really agree with that one because to me it doesn't make a lot of sense uh, but monotheistic religions having a life after death makes a lot of sense to me okay and like i said there's two things to unpack so number one the first thing is and i'll, I'll come to jamie's point uh second okay actually no, i'll come to this point first the first point is um, and he said it as well that why does natural things happen? Why do certain things in my life happen that made my life really bad and worse? It will be difficult for you to understand that if you don't believe in a life after death. That's one. 
Okay, uh, not that you have to. Uh, it's nothing like that. It's just difficult for you to believe in. Yeah? yeah, and we can agree on that. If someone doesn't believe in a second life, how can they be patient and how can they be, um, how can they be understanding that? Oh, something. Some. Uh, how can they be understanding that something bad has happened to me? I need to be patient because God is testing me. Okay. Now in the, that's number one. Okay. So part of getting over things or part of getting through things or seeing how they make you better comes from believing in a life after death because there's uh, in islam i'll give you an example because i don't know in christianity how it works or Ju- judaism but in islam it's very easy uh you ask god for something there's three three versions you ask god for something number one he'll say yes he gives it to you the second one is uh, you ask god for something you ask allah for something um and he will say not yet Afterwards And the third one You ask God for something And he doesn't give it to you at all But in the hereafter The life after death The reward that you see the, Like the mountain of reward Or whatever huge reward you see When you see that You'll say to God I wish you never accepted A single one of my prayers Because that reward is so huge You know And understanding that This life is a test And full justice in this world In this life I'll give you an example Like getting uh, Myself getting bullied In school Yeah Getting bullied in school I don't know how some of those moments, how that made me a stronger person. Because some of those didn't. Yeah. Getting slapped in the back of the head for no reason. And I was like a very short kid. That didn't make sense to me. Do you understand? But then in Islam, for example, I would speak on behalf of Christianity or Judaism if I could. But I don't have the knowledge for that. But in Islam, when someone uh, does wrong to you, if their justice isn't met in this world, then in the hereafter, after death, it definitely will happen. That's why faith is so important in that regard okay Mm -hmm. so that's point number one Uh, if you have comments you can just jump in by the yeah uh point number two he said he meaning neil uh the scientist he said if philosophers said and they've agreed that god what is it he said god can't be fully benevolent no what did you say god can't be all powerful and he can't be all good totally false okay (laughs) totally false why the concept of good and bad, these two concepts, these are human concepts, okay? And for ne- Mr. Neil over there, the scientist, where did he get the term goodness and badness from? Uh, he, as a human, how does he know where goodness comes from? And how does he know where bad comes from? Because by his definition, first of all, we evolved from monkeys, didn't we? It was evolution. Yeah. We evolved from lizards and monkeys, okay? Animals, do animals know what good and bad is? No. Animals follow their instincts. I have to survive by eating Okay, and I have to reproduce. I have to find a mate and reproduce. So by his terms, all we should do is reproduce, keep having children, spread our DNA, and we should also keep, uh, we should kill others to eat them. That is our purpose in life, according to him. Yeah. So how, where do he get goodness and badness from? So that's number one. B- uh, good and, and bad is, a, is something that God has taught humans, okay, so that he can judge us. And this test, okay? So we can't say God can't be all good. That, that It doesn't even make sense to compare because we don't understand God's plan. We don't understand how powerful. And in Islam, we have a simple name, okay? We could talk about so many names of Allah, but Allah has 99 names that we know of and more that we don't know. And these names are like attributes, yeah? It's like qualities. One of those qualities is he's the greatest. What does that mean? His st- stature, his status is so much more than we can understand. We can't comprehend yeah and you might think why can't we comprehend su- such a simple thing well why can't we comprehend a color how come we can't imagine a new color we can't imagine a new what a new planet might look like we're, we're literally stuck with these little small box like, stuff in, in our human brains we're, we're limited it's so tiny isn't it can no, anyone can't, here can't go beyond that to like uh what's it to investigate that's that, it that's our limit can you create a new color is it possible no anyone do you, can you imagine a new color you can't in it that's why our brain is so small sometimes we can't understand something that's the limit we've hit our roadblock we've hit our limit Mm -hmm. and whenever the hereafter is whenever we see that second part that's when we start understanding so that's my as a muslim as a as a person who has a a faith that's how i take it okay so would you say that's fair to say jimmy yes yeah um again it's not taken away from the fact that bad things have really horrible things evil things happen to people but justice, when it's not done in this world, it happens in the second world. That's the that's the understanding. Okay. Um, can we play the second clip? Just because I've forgotten what I wanted to say. You walk up to the pearly gates and you are confronted by God. What will Stephen Fry say to him? I'll say bone cancer in children. 
What's that about? How dare you create a world in which there is such misery that is not our fault? It's not right. It's utterly, utterly evil. Why should I respect a capricious, mean-minded, stupid God who creates a world which is so full of injustice and pain? And you think you're going to get in on no, that? but I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to get in on his terms. They're wrong. Because the God who created this universe, if it was created by God, is quite clearly a maniac, totally selfish. We have to spend our life on our knees thanking him? What kind of God would do that? Yes, the world is very splendid, but it also has in it insects whose whole life cycle is to burrow into the eyes of children and make them blind. They eat outwards from the eyes. Why? Why did you do that to us? You could easily have made a, a creation in which that didn't exist. It is simply not acceptable. It's perfectly apparent that he is monstrous and deserves no respect whatsoever. The moment you banish him, your life becomes simpler, purer, cleaner, more worth living. All right, so he said a couple of things I'm dying to answer, but did you ever notice, you know the, the old, I don't know who's interviewing him here, I don't know, but do you see when he gave it, he's like, oh. <laughs> No, Did you see that one? He gave up halfway, he's just like, oh. Well, the other, the interviewer. The interviewer. Um, okay, what do you think about it? Before I say so, I, like, I want to run about this so bad, yeah? But Whoa. anyone got anything to say? No, By the way, yeah, it's I'm going to caveat. It's not much joke. I, I'm going to caveat this, yeah? <clears throat> Jamie's the only one, basically, who's not thinking. So I don't want to make you like feel isolated or left out, by the way. Yeah? So you speak however you speak, and we're going to say what we believe in, you're going to say what you believe in, and that's fine, yeah? Just I'm just letting you know, because okay. otherwise you'll be like, oh, I, I have to agree. Don't do not do that. You, whatever you believe, you should say that. That's more important, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay? Check. Who wants to go first? It was at this moment he knew. So, uh, I was saying, so does anyone have anything they want to say? Because I want to say... A, a lot about this okay so he said uh again he said two two things again yeah bone cancer what's that all about shut up okay that's what that's all about bone cancer all right so he's talking about natch bone cancer yeah he's talking about natural disasters tsunamis bone cancer diseases in children insects that do this and that we already spoke about it. This world is a test. This is temporary. Whatever challenges you face in this world is because there's a there's a, a better thing waiting for you. And children, let, let's say Islam as an example, when children die, they go straight to heaven. They have no reckoning. If you've not, if you've um, passed away before the age of puberty, you're going heaven. You got nothing to worry about because you're not able to be judged. You're not mature. Okay, that's number one. All right. Number two. So who's uh, who do we who do we live by then? If not by God, if not by a higher being that's better than us, more just than us, who do we live by? His answer is going to be: we live by our own moral compass. Okay, let's pretend for a second morality and being good and all that exists without religion. Let's just pretend it doesn't. Okay, he said, uh, let's look at Palestine and Israel. Very easy. Let's look at Palestine and Israel. Yeah, uh, who's who's doing that? Is God sending missiles on little kids? Since he loves children so much, since he cares about children so much, I'm going to check after this. Did he even tweet once about uh, Palestine? Did he tweet once about Gaza? Concentration camps. Has he condemned it? Has he talked about China? Has he talked about Yemen? Has he talked about Syria? I want to see if he has, then cool. But has he, has he talked about it in the same viciousness that he's talked about God? Because he hasn't. He doesn't condemn humans how he condemned God because humans are capable of that kind of evil. God, I don't think God would ever blow a child's arms and legs apart. Uh, with a bomb I don't think God's going to do that And he hasn't done that Do you understand? So natural disasters Which are there to test us Which are there to give us patience That's different to attacking people So you, that's number 2.2 of his Which doesn't make sense And the third one I'm just trying to remember He said that about the bone cancer thingy He said about natural disasters He said one other thing Oh And then he didn't make sense The guy asked him When you get to the gates of heaven or hell Then what? And he goes I don't want to go in so first of all you admit that you're going to probably be standing there one day if you are you could be wrong he's admitting that he could be wrong so he's saying that when he stands there he gonna say well i don't want to get in it's by your judgment i don't want to get in that makes no sense so you're going to your rest of your life your infinity eternity you're going to think because you thought your understanding is better than the one who made you and who created you and created the world that doesn't make any sense you know what i mean that oh it's on my terms that's where i got the morality thing where he says that like who should we judge uh, goodness and badness by he's saying tip, um, clearly he's saying it should be done by human understanding which is wrong um but what do you guys think like am i am i waffling too much or is it is it realistic what i'm saying because he he doesn't make sense that's that doesn't make sense to me is this the same points that we made of the last video i don't have any new points to make from this video it's the same isn't it but that's the problem with like atheism or science like believing in science and believing in you know 
this kind of self-sufficient nihilistic thing. Do you guys know what nihilism is? No. Like you live only to feed your own desires. That's it. Yeah. You, you just do it for money and being rich and spending and eating and doing, uh, you know, whatever you you desire, you want to do that. That's nihilism. Okay. That that can't be the way. That can't be how you live your life. I don't think so. I, I don't think it can be. Um, it's okay if I pick on you, Jamie. Yeah. I'm so I'm being sensitive because I'm like I don't want to I single you out. But let me let me let me ask you this. Yeah, if you're not comfortable, just let me know. Since right now you don't believe in a faith, yeah. Okay. How do you live your life? What what? How do you determine what is good to do, what is bad to do, what your dreams are, what your futures are, your hopes are? What what guides you towards that? Um, I guess from. Um. But people bum me old elderly. Older people who've been in more longer. Do what? Sorry, I didn't hear. The elderly people, so maybe grandparents, parents, all the people, all the older generations who've been here long enough and know by now what to do, what's good and bad. Oh, so you learn from them? Is that what you said? Learn from them, yes. Okay, and what what about those elderly people? Because I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about in general. Yeah, let's say if someone were to live like that, what about if they had like, let's say they had a grandparent or they had a they didn't really have a elderly role model how would they go about it what do you think if you were in that situation what would you do or it could be because you're not in that situation you can't think like that that's also okay but i'm just saying what would what do you think you would do from then they probably would go to religion then that's important isn't it do you know what i mean don't you don't you agree danielle you're looking at me with that stupid face <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you think, Daniel? What do you think? He's hurt, man. He's not going to talk now. Should I come kiss you and make it better? No, no. Okay. no. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Um, yeah, he does have a point, yeah. That, I didn't know you were going to say that, by the way. I thought you were going to say, oh, I learned from your parents or something. But So after, if you don't have another way, then you'd pick religion. But why do humans do that? What was the... What, why would you do that? Like, Gareth, why are you Christian? Why, why do you believe in a religion at all? Faith. What? Why? <laughs> what? No, faith, as in he he has yeah, faith in something, faith yeah. In religion, okay, yeah. but why, why do you have the faith then? What's the yeah, point? That's, that's the question. Why? Uh, I'll give you an example. Right now, lots of bad things happening in my life. Jamie probably has bad things. Danielle probably has bad things in life. You have bad things in your life happening. Mm. Why do you have faith? It, Faith is the main reason, but it's also like what I believe in as well. What do you? Like, what do you believe? Like heaven, hell, um, you know, it, like everything happens for a reason. Like God wouldn't put you for, put you through something if He doesn't think you're capable. capable no, the question. Uh, Alright, uh, God. Capable Please. of going through it. Huh? Just speak. Yeah. Now the question is: uh, Let's say your par parents wasn't religious. How would you find religion? Because yeah. as a Muslim for example yeah, I don't think I was like practicing or like into religion till I was like 12, 13 oh, okay, now I was called question. Muslim oh, right, yeah, right, right, right. Mm. because my parents were but I wasn't looking into it and be like oh, okay I'm going to pray my daily five prayers or try to pray my daily five prayers do this do that or yeah but yeah, that's the same with me as well. At the beginning, I don't really... Yeah, for, yeah, when I was a kid, that's the bad thing. That's what we need to learn from it, as in, just in general. Um, but it's like you force it on the kid too much. Like, it's like pressure, isn't it? And because of that, they're actually not going to follow it. And then for me, uh, yeah, that's how I felt. And um, then, yeah, then out of my own curiosity, I looked into it and I went out my way i went to different churches i was using the internet and then yeah through that i know this this guy there from when i was in italy and he was like i think 12 or something and his parents said when he he will turn 18 he will decide what religion he wants to be it's and like, they was christian it's like as a as a parent yeah what i believe is you shouldn't force it on like too much but you need to they need to practice it. They need to know about it. Do you get it? Encouragement. Uh, yeah, that's it. Encouragement. And then once you get to an age, because like me and Daniel, what we went through um, at a certain age, like from our own will, we actually want to learn about it. We're curious. We want to understand our own religion. 
and then that's when we actually start, you know, practicing it. Yeah, I think encouragement, that's really important. In Islam, uh, you have, Allah says, La ikraha fid din, right? You, there's no force in religion. You don't force anyone in religion. You, it's a relaxed thing. But in this, in the West, yeah, in the in other countries, it's not, you know, you say, oh, forced and stuff like that. I, I don't think it is like that. That's the honest truth. Uh, Bangladesh, just to, uh, just an example. Bangladesh, you know, when I've been there, I spent two months there, multiple times, yeah? Uh, in Bangladesh, <clears throat> in Bangladesh, you have children. They take them to the mosque. If you're Muslim, they take them to the mosque, and they take them as you know, they're the babies. They take them with them. Yeah, pray, get involved in the masjid. The kid's gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, until one day the kid himself, like Daniel said, when you're 12, 13, you said, you start looking into it yourself. I think uh, people who are born uh, Muslim. And uh, when they get older, they're more mature and stuff. Then they, no, people who are born into Islam, there's a step and there's a there's a moment in your life where you, you're born into Islam, but you become a Muslim. Yeah, which is really important. Like, because you don't understand things. You know, how is a kid, you're just born young. How are you meant to understand who or what Allah is? How are you meant to understand the rules? You know, you're young. You don't, you don't get it. Yeah. You see your parents pray and stuff. Then you're like, some some people do it out of fear as well. They're like, oh yeah, you need to pray and stuff. <clears throat> but you get to a point in life where you start to build a connection rather than just doing it for the sake of doing it. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. Well, when I was younger, um, so my mom used to say, go pray. And I was like seven. Yeah, me and my sisters. He used to lie in it. <laughs> that's something that everyone did. <laughs> everyone, I'm sure everyone's oh, yeah, on the same. I got, I got one thing as well, yeah, after you finish. Yeah, so yeah. what happened, your, my mom's like, go pray, go pray. Yeah? And obviously, so when you're six, you're meant to like tell the kid, go pray. By the time they're eight, you're meant to say, hey, make sure you're praying. You know, because it's it, eight, you're starting to understand. You become understanding. My nephew, he's going to be seven. He's very sharp, mashallah. Like he's very wise and he, he knows his stuff. I say wise with a few, I've added some salt there. He's not fully wise, but he knows his stuff. You know what I mean? So by the time he's eight, I'm sure he'll understand more or less. And then by 12, they should be praying. Yeah. So my mom, when I was like seven, she used to take it proper serious. Like, do you know your kalimas? Do you know your duas? And all that stuff. Yeah. Because your brain is, as a baby, you're like a sponge in it. Any knowledge you're given, you memorize it very, very quickly. Okay. So she used to say, go pray. I used to go to my room. I was like, oh, man, pray is so long. You know, back then time used to go. You know, when you're a kid, time is like 10 minutes is like six hours. Yeah. So I'm there. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. So what do I do? I put the thingy down and just stand there. Yeah. I could have used that time to pray, but I just stand there. I'm like, yeah. There's other times where I'm like, oh, you know, putting this, she's probably not going to check. So I'll, I won't put it out. I just sit on the bed. So you just sit on the bed. Yeah. And before she comes, quick, <laughs> put it down, put it down and quick. Oh. Yeah, you do that and you know she knows. She knows when you're chatting in it. And then the worst, you know when you, you have siblings and you're you're chatting breeze, yeah, like yeah, I'm praying, and your sibling knows you're lying. She goes, oh, Ma, he's not praying, you know that. Oh man. So it's that, that's what I mean. When you're that young, you don't know why. And then what you said is very important. You, you, first you do have fear. Fear my parents, my I'm gonna get in trouble for not doing it, for not listening. And then you realize when you're older, you pray because, not because someone else needed you. My mom didn't need me to pray. My dad didn't need me to pray on my brothers. I needed to pray for myself. Th when you realize that, that's when you become a Muslim or that's when you become, I guess, uh, whatever religion you follow. Um, but yeah, that's important. Oh, sorry, guys, what were you going to say? Something similar to you, yeah. My ch <coughs> Something similar guys, to you, yeah. Is mad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving this in, by the way. Something similar to you, yeah. So basically, my church, yeah. Um, we used to have this book where we have to write how many minutes we prayed every single day each week, yeah, and what we read. I would lie because it's again the fear of getting told off in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's that fear. Yeah. And okay. then, and also I look at other people, yeah, because they kind of read it or I don't just ask people. And I'm just like, like I don't know about you guys. At the beginning, I struggled to pray for a long time. They're like, how how do you do it for that long in it? Mm. And then as I get older, then you know it just comes in it. You find out. And it comes to you. Yeah. D Jamie, did you have did you have anything like that? Like you have to pray on things? Because Asians, that's another thing. Asians are so <laughs> puzzled with this stuff. You know, like to me, I could be fully stereotyping and, and being prejudiced here, yeah. But to me, Asians or Arabs or like 
that kind of Middle Eastern or Asian kind of thing. They're like proper force with everything. It could be studying, it could be praying, it could be all that. They're always like, you're going to get in trouble if you don't do it, yeah? What is it like from a British family? Like, how, how is it? Is there any... Then it creates hatred as well. That's another thing, yeah, yeah. So, so, how? I don't get it. You can, like, hatred, because like, let's say you get to a certain age, yeah, you're like, let's say from young, yeah, you've been told off, or yeah, pray, 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 pray. Mm -hmm. And now you have the freedom, you have the freedom of choosing, yeah. do I want to pray or not? Yeah. And you're like, oh, now I can make my own choice, flip that, because, mm -hmm. you know, it was yeah. forced on you. Yeah. You decided yeah. to build this age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fake. Yeah, 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 exactly. It it's isn't. Fake, yeah. And then, um, but that's the thing, the way like your parents like bring you, like open your doors here yeah, to Islam, it needs to be like proper nice. You it shouldn't be you a know, force. It's like 50 50. You blame them, but you don't blame them because they're doing it for your own good. They're trying to make you understand. But as a kid, what they don't get is you're not going to get it. And all these things that, like, you know, you guys like fake that you prayed i guys that i fake that, you know, i guys uh, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I, I like you know lied and faked oh yeah i prayed for five ten minutes 15 20 when at that time i couldn't no forcing anything is just like it's negative all the, overall anything you can force anything on someone it will be negative at the end of the day especially from a young age because you're always going to be associating that that's the thing i didn't want to do why am i doing it because now no one's telling me to do it. Why should I do it? You know what I mean? So you never develop the love for it. Um, and that's why I don't like when, you know, uh, kids are in the uh, mosque, masjid. And um, people are like, oh, he's making noise. So what? He, the kid is in the masjid. You have to understand that. He's having fun. Let him remember the mosque is where I think the mosque I go to. Um, they're really good with this. They proper follow it. Children, I remember on Friday prayer, they're screaming, running around. Yes, you can't focus and stuff. But that kid one day is going to be older and he's going to remember the mosque is where that old man shouted at me. If you shout at him, the mosque is where that guy told me off. The mosque is where that guy grabbed me and made me stand straight in the line. That's the idea that he's going to develop, you know. Um, sorry, I want to come back to Jamie. You were saying... Can I make one more point? On, you know, also, yeah, it it's depends on luck, like on the knowledge that your parents have. Right. So, like, let's say uh, you watch superheroes and stuff, and they talk about these stories and stuff. You're like, yeah, I want to be Spider Man. I yeah, want to yeah. be this and that. But you know, people of knowledge, if you like the stories of prophets and stuff, they're so mind blowing. Some of them, most of them, all of them, all of them. Oh, I think all of them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm like, all of them. But imagine you introduce yeah, your kid yeah, by telling the stories. You're like, they're going to be like, oh, I want to be like this. I want to be like that. It creates a positive environment rather than then you, your parents telling you, yeah, go pray. If you don't go pray, you go hell and stuff yeah, like that. That makes it even worse, man. No, that's not, as humans, we don't, we work with do an action and you get rewarded. Yeah, that's, that's how we work as, as, as people. Also, if you go on like, for example, TikTok, yeah, there's so many videos that like, oh yeah, are finally reverted. And they showed this video to like, yeah, they done drugs, they got money, they got cars, they got girls and everything. Going back to the point where I said, oh, there's like a point where you're like, oh yeah, like what am I going to do now? I've done everything in life. What's the point of life? That's the turning point when you start to question life and stuff. Then you look into it. You don't, you don't need to start from Islam, but like you start looking at different books and stuff. You're like, hmm, this one makes more sense. And then that's where you start your journey. Yeah, that's what, you know, um, sorry, I will come to Jamie. You know, uh, people, there's two types of people who I feel really sorry for. Mm -hmm. One is people who think I have nothing in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other is I have everything in life. Those two people I feel really sorry for because both of them are given the biggest mental task is what do I do now? You know, the, yeah. I have nothing to live for. I have nothing that is good in my life. What do I do now? So what do people with nothing, what do they do? Either they fully change it around, they go to religion or, you know, they become rich somehow and then they find on the opposite side of the spectrum or they choose the not so, the, the really awful option and we know what we're talking about. And then on the other side, the people who have like look at these rich musicians actors robin williams you know um if you guys watched aladdin before you know the cartoon aladdin mm. you know robin williams the, the the genie yeah he's a really funny guy really funny actor he had if you argue about it he had a lot he had a lot to live for why did he end his life because he wasn't he wasn't happy he had so much do you understand so those two people is it's really sad because what in my opinion it's just an opinion because i don't know how god thinks this is not uh, me deciding what god thinks but when someone is given, shown that they have nothing and when someone is shown that they have everything, God is asking them, what will you do now? I'm asking you a question. What will you do now? Will you finally turn to me? Because that's 
those two people probably need God the most, isn't it? Yeah. That in my opinion, they need Allah the most or God the most. Um, and I think that's uh, it, sorry. It's just a thought that came to my head. I thought it's really important. Uh, but Jamie, I was saying like you know, what is it like from a British family, an English family about religion? Like, were you pushed? Did anyone even mention, or is it just hey, you're Christian, we baptize you, you do on your own terms? Like, what what is it like? Obviously, you're not speaking for the whole of white people or whole of Britain, but just your family yeah, kind of. Someone. Yeah, I had a bit of both. I had some people were like, yeah, you was this, but I'm like, okay. And there's other people that were more, I don't know if they was both pushing and not pushing, but they'd speak about it. And maybe some of them might be maybe grandparents. Some of them would, some of them would maybe not push, but they'd be like, right, I'm going to go to da-da-da-da, probably try and do a positive way. I just can't remember. Can I ask, like, you know, you have an aunt who's religious, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, uh, what is it okay to speak about your aunt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, how, how was her kind of uh, vibe with you when it comes to religion? Um, yeah, she wasn't ever pushy with anything. She was the one I did go when I was going, like, consistently to church. Because back then, I think I had, or well, she had only her two eldest boys. I'd, I'd live around the corner from them, so I'd get along and go around and stay with them, sleepovers and stuff. And then on the Sunday, we'd all go together. But how she, she didn't, didn't make it like, right, we've got to go church, do this, otherwise this is going to... She was like, okay, right, let's go here. Afterwards, we'll go have something to eat. We'll go I like the stay. accent. She was Cockney, and then she was, she changed into like, bitch, like right, <laughs> we're, we're going there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and then it changed to, no, it's okay, we're going to go. <laughs> no, no, no like, I get you, yeah. Yeah, she'd be like, okay, right, we're going to go here. Get dressed. We're gonna go. She didn't force. Like she might have went up. Yeah. In Christian, you go to the front and maybe sit down and do a prayer. And if you want, maybe one of the parents would go up and one of the parents would stay with the kids. Yeah. She'd do that. Say my uncle would go up to the front and do his prayers with something like that. You know, with the that. And yeah, she she'd either sit, go up front and say her husband would stay with us and we'd sit at the chairs. Or she'd stay and she'd pray at, on the chairs with us. But basically, so what that is, you're the priest chair. Just because if, you, if, you, if you've got anything that you want to pray about, like, you know, obviously something bad. What that basically is, is, yeah, like, the priest just basically says, oh, yeah, if there's anything that you want to, you know, pray about, anything, just come up to the front. So that's that's what Jamie's saying. People um just get up from their seats where they're sitting, go to the front, and the priest just does, like, a quick prayer over everyone. Like for example, let's say let's say as an example, you got cancer. You're gonna go up because you want to beat cancer, right? You want to do what? Sorry? Let's say let's say as an example, you have cancer. Cancer, okay. Yeah, sorry, and yeah, then yeah. obviously you want to get you don't want to have cancer anymore, so you go up because of because you know you have faith in God that you know that He's gonna remove it. Uh, you know you have faith in Him. You go up and the priest just prays for you. That's that's an example. Okay, you said cancer. Do do you want to say something? Because I thought you were gonna comment. I was gonna say um, I feel like for example. I told Jamie time ago, for example, <clears throat> if you go to a church, yeah, you're going to find people that are like-minded yeah. and like they want kind of good for you because they're religious in some yeah. aspect. They might not be the per- most perfect Christian or Muslim, but you, you feel like you can connect to them easily or try, have like, you know, create a bond with them. Mm. And yeah. As in, it's good to be. Oh uh, yeah, that's uh, some. I was gonna ask. You know, when we went to Tarawi, like uh, in Ramadan, we went to the mosque, yeah, uh, and the community center. How did that feel for you guys? Uh, obviously, me and Daniel, that's our, our regular. But you two, how how did it feel to be surrounded by uh, just Muslims, really, and like you know how they spoke to you and everything? What what was that like? For me, it was weird, as in like, because obviously. I'm a Christian, isn't it? In that sense, but like I was so like when like when you guys were praying and stuff, it's like I want to be respectful. Mm. That's why I just like me and Dean were sitting on the side, we're like trying our best not to be loud, literally even like small noises. Like you can agree as well, isn't it? We're trying yeah, to be respectful, that, yeah. Um, I mean, both. Really. It's like it's nice to see because it's different isn't it? in church. Like you guys properly like go down and you know do your normal procedure. Us Christians, we, we, we could like we can stand up. No, I can see them. 
not bad or good way, but just differences. How we would do something, how you do something. Mm. Ours is very physical. Isn't it? <laughs> we got the full PE session going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's just nice. Yeah, to see the differences. Do you remember uh, we went Fajr the early morning prayer, and um, you two were at the back, and guy goes, "Are you guys not gonna?" <laughs> you guys not gonna no, but well, uh, it didn't feel like I was left out. Like the, it's, oh, yeah. the environment is like very welcoming. Well, welcoming. Mm. Yeah, welcoming. I was the evening one and the and it doesn't feel awkward and stuff. It's like it's it feels like you know they want to be like a part of their community type of thing. Yeah. Do we fair to and him? That, and all, and, well, <laughs> yeah. Do we fair to him? Yeah. Like there's so many times where like, oh someone, me and you yeah. Um, it's a prayer time. Do you know where the mosque is? Remember? Yeah. And even even like oh yeah when we just go out, they're like oh you Muslim. <laughs> Yeah, we were just walking and yeah. No, but you look like a Muslim. Like your whole beard looks Muslim. I don't know how to explain it to you. Like, I, I just genuinely don't know how to explain. It. You look Muslim. It's just uh, so many people have asked me like, Gary's Muslim. I'm like, no, <laughs> he's he's Christian. Uh, but then those same people said Gary's is Bengali, right? I said no. <laughs> 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 so, I think, uh, yeah. But okay, overall then, uh, let me ask. So, what is your overall? Uh, message to people of religion or who have no faith what would you say we start from Gareth well oh yeah so people who don't um, believe in God or have faith um, wait let me think of what I'm going to say <laughs> yeah take your time <laughs> take your time so people who don't believe that there's a God oh, what, the, what am I going to say I'm saying something and my mind goes black 2000 years later no, 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 go So people who don't uh, have faith or don't believe in God, like, there will be a turning point. And, um, yeah, just, you'll endure, uh, endure through life. Huh? What? <laughs> what did you say? What did you just say? I, I'm sorry, I was like, I was looking at you because I was like, if he gets it, I'll just nod, yeah? But he didn't get it. I was like, huh? <laughs> what? I got something in my head, but I don't know how to say it. All right, let's come back to you. Let's yeah? put your words together. All right, Jamie, do you have something that you want to say? Um. Okay, Jamie, your question. I want to do a different one. Okay, right. are you ready to convert here and now? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Joking. laughs> I'm now, what would you say? What was your thing? Um. Uh, let's go back to the whole pressurized and the fear part. I'd say don't do anything out of fear. If you're at an if you're too young, obviously you can't. But there's one who, who are old enough and can understand and process something in their own head themselves. I'd say don't go, never going to think towards fear or being forced to do anything. If you generally don't believe in doing something, then obviously there's no point in doing it because you're not gonna, you're not gonna enjoy it. You're not gonna want to do it. You're gonna like butch it basically. Say if you're doing a job and you don't like it, you're not gonna be committed to doing that job. You're not gonna if you're a bricklayer. You're not gonna want to build the house perfectly, make it perfect, make the structure and everything amazing, so it's a good house. So same in religion. If you're not want to do it, if you don't want to be religious, if you don't believe, like I said earlier, it's like fake. You not you don't actually believe in it, so you're not gonna be there, be committed. You don't want to do your prayers. You don't want to whatever. So if you generally don't believe in it, I'd say don't do it. 100% agree I think um, Just to add if, if that's okay like I would say To Add to that point Is <clears throat> Don't do uh, With religion Don't do it Because someone told you Make sure it's That you're te Also telling yourself Okay You have to question it yourself And on the other side Don't uh, You know It doesn't make sense Because someone else said it So I'm not even going to look into it Look into stuff If you're Christian Look into Christianity If you're Jew uh, A Jew Look into Judaism If you're Muslim Look into Islam properly Don't just Oh, I'm going to go mosque and I'm going to learn. I'm going to go church on one day and I'm going to learn. It's not, it doesn't work like that. You have to, if you want to become an engineer, you have to study engineering properly. If you want to become a doctor, you have to study med medicine or biology or chemistry properly. If you want to be a Muslim, you have to study Islam properly. If you want to be a Christian, and it goes for everything, really. So that's one thing. Look into things properly, read upon it. Uh, Daniel, what would you say? I think, yeah. One big mistake people make is looking for religious role models because no one is perfect. Sooner or later, they're going to make a mistake. And let's say uh, you're like, yeah, I'm going to follow this guy. Well, can I give an example as well? Yeah. For example, Mo Salah, yeah, 
he used like bad people used to look up to him and stuff he was like proper religious he tried to like he had a positive effect on liverpool as a city if you look at it like this news reports as in the racism has gone down and there's more like people <coughs> converted and stuff they made even like new chant uh, of us. Oh, yeah. I, I don't remember it right now, right now but it was pretty sick. they they said uh uh you literally sent it like three days ago man don't take muhammad away i just remember that part yeah. don't take that's the last part in yeah. liverpool yeah well, <clears throat> it's like you look you for example people convert it for him yeah like they look up and they're like oh yeah that's a good role model and stuff and then he didn't talk about palestine until he got pressured to do it mm-hmm. and that might be like heartbreaking for some people they were like oh yeah what's the point now and yeah if you're going to learn about something like look into it take your time there's so many resources out there no and yeah just learn it by yourself and if you need help like google will answer most of your questions you don't need someone to go through each thing for like with you if that makes sense yeah and i feel like for example in islam i feel like once god says yeah uh something we wait let me try to think the words yeah Take one step towards me and I'll take a hundred or something like that. Remember? remember? I, I know what you're talking about. Um, it's like, walk towards me, I'll run towards you. Yeah. It's, it's something, I can't remember the proper quote. Yeah, but so yeah. If you like start like learning about it, sooner or later you get that willingness <clears throat> and that you get more brains to just like do it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. And um, guys, have you, you've got time. <laughs> Give me <you> time. <laughs> What's with the cross site? Wait, I've got cross site. No, it's fine. Oh. We, we amended it Go on guys What's, what's your um... Um, Yeah similar to you guys Like from my personal experience as well um, Just When Like from inside of you When you're not pressured by anyone And you want to look into it Look into it And you know Like what Danny said Use resources And even use Friends and family around you You know Because you've got questions The religious ones Who's got more Knowledge on it Just go and ask them And they'll help you to understand more about the religion and then yeah then you realize after good that slowly um in your life good things will start to happen uh, i want to say one last thing if it's okay um people sometimes leave religion because of pain that's one of the things that i've noticed to realize and i think in the quran i i did know the exact arabic ayah uh, sorry verse in my head but i can't remember it right now um but it's like, you know, when people are afflicted with something bad and something bad happens, they, they curse God, isn't it? They say, oh God, why did you make this happen to me? Why are you making me go through it? Yeah. And in the Quran, it says, um, I can't remember how it's worded, but it's like God asks the questions. Okay. And we're giving the answer. So that bad thing that's happened to you is a question. What will you do next? Your answer is what's going to count for you. It's not why, why God did it. That's not going to count for you in the hereafter, after, you know, you pass away in the second life. What will count is how you responded, okay? So that's really important to remember. Um, And personally from myself, there's only... uh, For me, the only question I have really to ask is, have you subscribed yet? If you haven't, this is the time. Press the subscribe button right now. Did you see when I said the word subscribe, how how the button flashed? That's a feature right here on Ladstalk. I don't know if you can find that feature anywhere (laughs) anywhere else. Did you know about that, by the way? If you say subscribe to the channel... the subscribe button lights up. No. Yeah. Well, try it. Try it. Just go re- rewind. Rewind this part. Subscribe to the channel, and you see it, it lights up. Okay. I'm not lying. All right. I believe in God. I wouldn't lie. All right. Um. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but it's been an interesting conversation. It's been fun. Uh, it's good. Uh, and uh, we're happy that you could join us. But please do subscribe and leave comments below. Give us your opinions as well. Uh, everyone thinks differently and thank you everyone and thank you to you too thanks no <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, until next time yeah we'll see you next time bye 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 peace out